up our election coverage with Democratic candidate for state treasurer, Sean Barney. He joins me in our first studios today. Sean, great to see you. Thank you, Shirley. It's wonderful to be here. You know, we are fresh off the Delaware primaries. We know now who your challenger will be on the GOP side, Ken Simpler. Right. How now do you approach the campaign knowing who you're going up against? Well, we just uh, get our message out like we did before. We continue to be active, knocking on doors, visiting people on their storefronts and, and uh, doorsteps and in communities because this is a retail state and we get our message out there. Uh, I am someone that brings a mainstream record of leadership that people can trust and a commitment to public service that people can trust. And uh, that's in contrast to Ken Simpler, who brings, frankly, a Tea Party set of policies and priorities that is out of step with Delaware and the last thing that we need to give a statewide platform to here in Delaware. You know, 90 minutes after polls closed yesterday, your campaign manager sent out this release responding to Ken Simpler's win in the Republican primary. And, and he spoke about an editorial that Simpler wrote in 2012 about senior citizens on Medicare and, um, and their prescription drug usage and, and how they pay for it. Um, Simpler released a statement following that saying it, it was actually kind of negative. You took his words out of context and he called it nothing more than cheap shot politics. What do you say to that response? I'd say it's about talking about the issues and there's nothing cheap or negative about talking about the issues and what people believe. Uh, Mr. Simpler talks about one thing and one thing over and over again to the exclusion of anything else. He talks about his history as a hedge fund guy. Mm -hmm. And that's well and good and fine. Uh, I've got nothing against hedge fund guys. Uh, but people want to know what beliefs he's going to bring to this important office. This is an office that has a seat at the table, an important seat at the table when it comes to economic and budgetary policy in our state. Uh, and for voters to make an intelligent choice about who they want at that table, who they want being a voice for them, they need to know uh, what we believe as candidates. And he needs to talk about it. And this is a guy who has compared Medicare to armed robbery. He has suggested that seniors should pay more in prescription drugs prices um, so that drug companies can make greater profits. That's something that Delawareans need to know and they need to think about because that's something that may make sense to certain, a narrow segment of supporters in the Tea Party, but to most Americans and most Delawareans, um, that's simply out of the mainstream and that's not uh, representative of us here in Delaware. Did you see sending out something like that, though, so soon after the polls had closed, being a really aggressive move? And then do you see the rest of the race playing out in a similar fashion? I see us talking about the issues. I hope so. I hope we'll talk about the issues. Uh, and if we do, I'm confident that uh, we're going to win because uh, I bring a record of leadership that is right in the mainstream of uh, Delaware values and uh, where Delawareans stand and the kind of leadership and commitment they want. Um, I've got that record of leadership and I've got a commitment to public service that people understand and is clear from my history as a Marine uh, serving and uh, fighting and being wounded in Iraq to my service as economic policy advisor to Senator Tom Carper when he was uh, a member of the Joint Economic Committee of Congress mm -hmm. uh, to my service as policy director to Governor Jack Markell. Uh, that's a record of leadership that uh, Delawareans can trust. Like you said, Simpler has said time and time again, or, or referenced his hedge fund experience, his um, finance experience. He's always saying you need a finance guy for a finance right. job. <laughs> Why don't you spell out for our viewers, what are your credentials then to hold the state treasurer's office? Right, well let me first quickly say, um, if it was a hedge fund job, then having a hedge fund guy would make some sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this is a debate that we've had for over a year in Delaware. We've gone through this, a debate as to whether the role of the state treasurer is to be, as Mr. Simbler seems to indicate, be day trader in chief with state taxpayer money. And we had that debate. The attorney general interpreted the code. The General Assembly, on a unanimous basis, bipartisan, not a single dissenting vote, said no. That is not the role of the state treasurer. But as I said, the state treasurer has an important seat at the table. Uh, when it comes to economic and budgetary policy in our state. I have uh, advised Senator Carper on economic and budgetary policy, again, when he was on uh, the Joint Economic Committee of Congress. Uh, I've been at the table as uh, Governor Jack Markell's policy director, working with 16 cabinet secretaries to coordinate and move policy forward uh, and to see to it that it's successfully implemented. Uh, that's the kind of background that 
uh, one needs to bring if one wants to recognize the full potential of this office to make a difference in people's lives. Before we wrap up, we ask this of Ken Simpler, but we want you to give us a 30-second overview of why you deserve the job. Well, it really comes down to the record of, of leadership that I have, the values that I bring. Uh, people can trust in the work that I've done, the values that I bring to the office, and the commitment. Uh, my life has been committed to serving the people of this state, this, uh, the people of this country. Uh, I put my life on the line uh, for this country, and I believe that uh, we need public leaders who are willing to put themselves on the line to do what's right for uh, the people. Uh, they have a doubt, I think, sometimes today that public leaders can do that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I've shown that I'm, I'm willing to take risks, uh, put myself on the line to do what's right, and that's what I offer as a candidate for state treasurer. All right, Sean Barney, thank you so much for coming in, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of you as we get closer to the general election. Now you can catch this interview online at newsworks.org slash Delaware.